Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. So we're coming today with a video which is it's mostly about Yellow Flash and the supposed doxing that has been going against him. And one of the big things here now is that there's a Twitter handler called at Believe Bulma and by the looks of things, they must have been suspended or something for a couple of days because one of their tweets was, oh, now I'm welcome back or whatever. But the screenshots that got me uh, was just going through, people have been retweeting them and on my timeline, and this one popped up first. At Yellow Flash Guy, bet you didn't think anyone would see that picture of your car accident. We'll be in touch, as you like to say, real soon. Right, okay, straight away, obviously, this person is their head and shoulders with uh, Mars Girl. They're right next to her, and they're like, yes, here we go. I've done the information that you wanted, even though you said that you say, you know, it was all going to be privately done and everything else. But this just comes out to confirm that, of exactly what we all knew. Mars Girl, she public, well, privately asked for people that she knew to dox Yellow Flash. And... They've gone out and done it. So, this first one obviously saying, bet you didn't think anyone would see that picture of your car accident. First of all, that's got nothing to do with anything, you know. It's it's almost like this person now, who, who have, has doxed him and got all his info, is basically saying, right, we got your stuff now, we know who you are. We're going to we're gonna harass and we're just going to uh, bait you. So that was that one there. But another one, which uh, is quite surprising is two hours later they done this one since no one else will do what needs to be done docs yellow flash and they've got yellowflash2.com and on this website it's just a picture of yellow flash's artwork and well you know the uh his cover channel and it's got docs yellow flash and we have your info flash we can be in touch too stop by for all the info on yellow flash and when you go through it, there's not actually anything on it at the moment, but it's just powered by GoDaddy Go Central. And with all of that, it does go to show now that, again, if you need to, and you see this uh, flying about or whatever on Twitter, report the account, because this is, well, it's illegal. It's against the TOS of Twitter, and it's illegal, you know? There's nothing else to it. They should not be doing this. But going through the actual Believe Bulmer's uh, account, there's a lot of stuff on there that I just look at it and I'm just thinking to myself, what is wrong with you? It's tons of stuff on there and it's it says on the uh, side, on the uh, thing, they're an amateur journalist. Well, if they're an amateur journalist, they've gone about everything completely wrong. And having all of this now and saying, oh, we've done this, we've done this, and people are going around saying, well, what you just done here now, you're, you're telling people to go and do it. And you think there's nothing wrong with it. You got one by here, you know, with, um, with what you, they've said, just with the website. And they're like, uh, no, nope, prove I did something wrong. And everyone's like, well, you've just said, since no one else will do what needs to be done, you're endorsing the doxing. It apparently needs to be done in your eyes and in your own words. And then they're just coming back saying, oh, well, what, what have I done? Nothing illegal about it. So that's the type of person they are. And if someone's gone back to them, which is, uh, this is the law about doxing. If the information is posted with the intent of harassing the victim, intimidating them, invading their privacy, or having them assaulted, or inspiring or instructing someone else, reading the information to do any of these things, is classed as uh, doxing and it's illegal. And this person went back to him. It's for legal purposes, so F you. It's literally, you just think about it, it's like, what is wrong with you? I'm just going through this Twitter page and I'm just like, what is wrong with you? I cannot seem to fathom why they're like this. It's, it's beyond words. But... We're going to come off that one at this moment in time and we're going to go to a document that we've all kind of known 
that is around and it's got people on it and it's what it is it's actually uh, regarding all the people who go to conventions or whatever and it's the alleged misconduct against them so you have quite a few cosplayers youtubers you know and twitter personalities and such but this is also the list that vic is on so with vic after you've got vic mignona industry guest voice actor his conventions attended attendance conventions nationally current appearance list unavailable but then it's got his alleged misconduct sexual misconduct with minors physical boundary violations verbal and physical sexual harassment homophobia and anti-semitism so with all of that all we've got is people on twitter and that's really it there's nothing else against him and they've just seemed to gone against this you know against vic just by this list and there's quite a few people on here john lee zero serenity you know there's quite a few photographers which i'm actually very surprised at you got you know katie studios photographer preying on minors bullying and sexual harassment of minors again this is all just alleged misconducts that they've done none of this has been uh, proved true just to let you know but what i'll do i'll leave the actual link below in the description box if you want to give it a look over and see who's on it but again you can also find this on twitter a lot of people are putting that out there so go take a read see what you think about it and comment below and let us know if you are new to the channel like and subscribe hit the notification bell and we'll see you soon